Alberta's credit unions have teamed up to support communities in BC recently impacted by flooding. Many Albertans can recall the devastation left behind from the floods of 2013 and the effects extreme weather can have. To rally for their provincial neighbor, Credit Unions and Alberta Central have collectively donated more than $41,000 to date to the Canadian Red Cross, British Columbia Foods and Extreme Weather Appeal Donation Portal. These funds will go towards communities that experienced flooding, landslides, mudslides, power outages and more as a result of the severe storm. As people focused financial institutions, community support is our priority, whether those communities are in Alberta or across the country, because borders don't define community. We all remember the despair our members and their communities experienced during the 2013 floods, and that's why Alberta credit unions have come together to help our neighbors in British Columbia, says Benjamin Chappell, president and CEO of Alberta Central. Alberta Central and their member credit unions hope the donation total will continue to rise to assist the Canadian Red Cross in relief and recovery efforts already underway at the individual and community levels across British Columbia. Sunshine and seasonal temperatures will prevail across Metro Vancouver on Thursday and Friday. The break will prove short-lived, though, as another storm will reach BC this weekend. This system looks much weaker than what the region has had to contend with for the past couple of weeks. However, falling freezing levels could bring a threat for low elevation flurries on Saturday, including in Metro Vancouver. Beyond, the active pattern continues through early December. With colder weather spreading into the region, freezing levels with systems this weekend and next week will be much lower, which is good news for ski areas. In the long range, while confidence is very low at the moment, but there is the potential for low elevation snow, including in the southern interior.